Hi, welcome to the Magic of Math, where today we're going to answer a standardized math test question where we use estimation and multiplication to solve a real world problem. Here's our question. Our question today has three parts. A museum receives an average of 488 visitors per day. The museum is open every day. Here's part A. Estimate the number of visitors the museum receives during a month. Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and solve part A now. Come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we are estimating the number of visitors that the museum receives in a month. So to do this, we need to understand that the museum gets 488 visitors per day, and it says average. So they've averaged we're going to understand that the museum is open every day in a month and we're going to estimate the 488 to be 500 visitors because when we're estimating we want to make things easier and when we go to figure out math 500 is an easier number to use than 488 so when we estimate it's closest it's 12 from 500 so it's closest to 500 to the nearest hundredth or 100, sorry. And now we know that it is a month and it's open every day. And on average, we're going to say that a month has 30 days because again, 30 is the easier number to work with. So months could have 29, 30, or 31 days, but 30 is the easier number to work with with the 500. And that's an estimate. So now we need to multiply. So we have 500 visitors per day on average an average of 30 days in a month. So here's a math trick. Because both of these values have trailing zeros, we're gonna multiply their significant number five, their leading significant number five and three. Five times three is 15, and then I can add three zeros. One, two, three, you just count your zeros. So 500 times 30 is 15,000. So we know that on average, the estimation for the number of visitors per month at the museum is 15,000 visitors. Now time for part B. Part B, use your answer to part A to write an expression that can be used to predict the total number of visitors the museum would receive in M months. Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and solve part B now. Come back when you're ready to check your work. Welcome back. So we wanna begin by, they're asking us to use our answer from part A. Our answer from part A was 15,000 visitors per month. Now we are writing an expression. An expression is a mathematical phrase that has numbers and letters or symbols. And they've told us to use the variable or letter M to represent months. So we want to know and predict the total number of visitors in a month or in M months. So we have 15,000 in one month times the unknown number of months M. And here's our mathematical expression to find out how many visitors on average an estimate go to the museum in an M number of months, we're gonna take that number of months and multiply by 15,000. Time for part C. Use your answer to part B to predict the total number of visitors the museum would receive in 12 months. Show or explain how you got your answer. Please pause and solve part C now. Come back and hit play when you're done. Welcome back. So part B is what we're gonna use here, and we came up with 15,000 times M, which this problem is great, part A multiplied by part B. So here's our part B. And now we're using this for part C. So you can see how important it is to make sure you're really reading these questions because if part A was incorrect, then part B and C would be incorrect. All right, back to part C. We wanna predict the total number of visitors in 12 months. Well, that 12 months represents this M. So we're gonna put the 12 in place of the M because now we don't know an unknown number of months. They're specifically telling us that the number of months M is 12. 
So we want to do 15,000 times 12. So we're going to use my little trick again. We're going to take the 15 and ignore the zeros and multiply it by the 12. So 15 times 12, first we're going to do, we're lining up our digits. 2 times 5 is 10, so 0, carry the 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus the carried 1 is 3. Now bring down my placeholder of a 0 and start our second row. 1 times 5 is 5. 1 times 1 is 1. Remember that 1 was for our first row. Now we're going to add 0 plus 0 is 0, 3 plus 5 is 8, and 1. So we have 180, and then we have to add on our three zeros from the 15,000. So in 12 months, we can estimate that the number of visitors to the museum is 180,000. Thanks for joining me today at The Magic of Math, where we continue to master math one video at a time. I hope you'll show your support by subscribing to the channel, and have a great day. Don't forget to come back tomorrow.